Hi friends, welcome to my channel L Professor. In this video, we are going to see one of the important steps in exploratory data analysis, that is univariate analysis. First, we will see what is univariate analysis, then plots and techniques that are used in univariate analysis, followed by a brief demo using Seaborn dataset how to do a univariate analysis. Come on, let's get started. What is univariate analysis? Univariate analysis is about exploring one variable at a time. It is important to explore each variable to understand the importance of the variable in the data set and the kind of insight it provides to us. For instance, in a cruise travel record, a passenger class which is a categorical variable which has got a values like class 1, class 2 and class 3. If we explore this variable more, we will be able to understand the association of this variable with other variables such as age groups and the occupation of the passenger which made them to decide on which class they want to travel. So in a typical data set, we have got two group of variables. One is independent variable, the other one is dependent variable. We call the dependent variable as a target or response variable, which helps us to predict and make a decision out of the, the analysis. Whereas independent variables are called as a features or a predictors, which will help us to predict the target variable. When it comes to plots in univariate analysis, there are three important plots that we typically use in univariate analysis. One is a count plot, then distribution plot and box plot. Count plot is used for categorical data and uh, numerical data we use uh, distribution and box plot. Come on, let's get started with a demo. The first thing we'll have to do is activate the Seaborn environment. Then uh, we'll initiate the Jupyter Notebook. Once the notebook is initialized and ready, we can import the dependent libraries for this analysis such as Seaborn and matplotlib. Then we'll configure the Seaborn styles followed by uh, we'll load the data set. For the style configuration, I'm using white grid as a background and palette as a muted. Once it is set, then we'll use uh, get dataset names to list down all the datasets that are available from there we'll pick up one or two datasets to explore the data in a univariate analysis We will use Titanic dataset. To load the Titanic dataset, we'll use the load dataset method and we'll pass Titanic as a parameter. Once the dataset is loaded, we'll use info method to explore the fields that are there in the dataset. Here, the uh, survive is a target variable and rest of the variables are independent variables. So we'll use head method to see a few records of titanic dataset. Head method has retrieved the top 5 records of dataset. As a first thing, what we'll do, we'll use a count plot to look at the frequencies of number of survived in the given data set. A count plot is basically provides the frequencies of the given variable. So we have used a Titanic survived. So this will list us a number of people have survived and number of people have not survived. So here 0 indicates the people who have not survived and the 1 indicates the people who have survived. On top of this, now let's apply a distinguishable method of uh, adding a one more categorical variable. So that will distinguish the frequency count in, based on the category. So here we are going to give uh, Q as uh, the gender. So this 
frequencies will be split again based on the genders who have survived and who have not survived so here the blue color indicates the number of males who have survived and uh, the orange color indicates number of female passengers who have survived so if you look at the people who have not survived male passengers look more number of people who have not survived rather than female passengers So on the other hand, we'll also add one other categorical variable as uh, class, passenger class, which will again distinguish the frequencies based on the class of uh, passengers. So instead of a gender, we'll pass a P class, which gives us uh, the visualization of frequencies based on the, the class of passengers. So here again, uh, if you look at the people who have not survived, the class third the passengers who have traveled on uh, third class have not survived compared to uh, other passengers so this is with respect to the categorical variable so now let's explore the numerical variable for that uh, i'm gonna load a different data set so let's use uh, tips data set here Let's explore the fields of tips data set and also the few data records. So tips has got a mixture of fields like both numerical and categorical variables. And here total bills and tips are the two important numerical variables. Let's explore the uh, those numerical variables by using distribution plot I'm gonna visualize the tips data using a distribution plot for the distribution plot uh, we'll have to pass tips column followed by whether we want to visualize as a histogram or a kitty here we are gonna set both histogram and kitty as a true so that we'll see distribution as well as the kernel density so this is what the plot looks like. So the distribution starts from uh, 1.8 to 8 and also if you look at the the curve which shows as a normal distribution. Now we'll use the box plot to look at the range of tips. So box plot is usually used to find out the five point summary of the data. So here we'll see the five point summary of the tip data. So here we can see the the average portion from two to three point five, and the minimum is one point eight, and the maximum is six, and rest of the points are outliers. So now let's uh, view the both the plots in a, in a adjacent manner. Now let's visualize these both plots in uh, adjacent places. For that we'll use uh, plot subplots method and set the axis.
we can also set the title of uh, each axis so i'm gonna give the title as a distribution of tips data and the box plot i'm gonna give the range of tips Now we can see both the plots in adjacent manner for us to easily compare the tips distribution as well as uh, the range of tips and we can also set the font of the title so i'm setting the font as 15 pixel That's all about this video on uh, univariate analysis. I hope you like it. Please click like button and post your comments and share it to your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.